we'll be counting down the top 10 most powerful navies in the world. From cutting-edge technology to sheer military might, these naval forces have established their dominance on the high seas. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into the thrilling realm of naval power. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. So, without further ado, let's sail and discover the mightiest fleets on the planet. Number 10. Number 10 on our list is the Royal Australian Navy. Despite being a regional force, the Australian Navy has made its mark with a modern and formidable fleet. Its centerpiece is the Canberra-class landing helicopter dock, capable of launching amphibious operations and supporting air power. With advanced submarines like the Collins class and a commitment to global security, the Royal Australian Navy is an undeniable force to be reckoned with. The Royal Australian Navy operates advanced surface combatants, including guided missile destroyers and frigates. The Hobart-class destroyers, equipped with an Aegis combat system, provide air defense capabilities and can engage threats across air, surface, and subsurface domains. The Anzac-class frigates serve as versatile multi-role vessels with anti-submarine warfare capabilities. The Royal Australian Navy actively engages in international corporations and participates in joint exercises and operations with partners worldwide. Number 9. Coming in at number 9 is the Republic of Korea Navy. South Korea has invested heavily in its naval capabilities, particularly in response to regional tensions. They boast an impressive fleet of destroyers armed with the Aegis combat system and subsurface threats. Combined with their advanced submarines and amphibious assault ships, the Republic of Korea Navy is a force that can project power far beyond its shores. The Republic of Korea is the naval branch of the South Korean Armed Forces. It plays a vital role in safeguarding South Korea's maritime interests, defending its coastal waters, and contributing to regional security. The Republic of Korea operates a naval aviation unit of helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft. These aircraft provide support for maritime surveillance, anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue operations, and transportation of personnel and supplies. The Republic of Korea also plans to develop indigenous projects, such as the Next Generation Destroyer, Advanced Submarines, and Surveillance Systems to further bolster its naval capabilities. No Number 8. Next on our list, at number 8, is the Indian Navy, with a rich marine history, India has developed a navy that is rapidly expanding and modernizing. Their aircraft carrier, INS Vikramaditya, and indigenously built Vikrant-class carriers serve as powerful symbols of their naval might. The Indian Navy also operates advanced destroyers, stealth frigates, and nuclear-powered submarines, making it a significant player in the Indo-Pacific region. The Indian Navy traces its roots back to the establishment of the East India Company's Marine in 1612. After India gained independence in 1947, the modern Indian was formed. Its primary objectives include securing India's maritime borders, projecting naval power, ensuring maritime security, and conducting humanitarian and disaster relief operations. The Indian Navy maintains a significant fleet compromising a wide range of surface combatants, submarines, aircraft carriers, amphibious warfare vessels, patrol vessels, and auxiliary ships. The fleet is designed to operate in diverse environments, ranging from coastal regions to blue waters. Number 7. Moving on to number 7, we have the French Navy. The French Navy has a rich history dating back to the Middle Ages. It played a crucial role in the exploration and colonization of various regions around the world. Today, its primary mission is to protect French interests at sea, safeguard maritime territories, contribute to national defense, and project French naval power globally. France boasts a blue water capable of global power projection. The nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, Charles de Gaulle, is a commanding presence on the seas. With advanced submarines, such as the Barracuda class, and a diverse fleet of destroyers and frigates, the French Navy maintains a strong presence in both the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. The French Navy is responsible for France's nuclear deterrent force, known as the Force de Dissuasion. It operates a fleet of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines SSBNs, armed with submarine-launched ballistic missiles SLBMs. This capability ensures the credibility of France's nuclear deterrence policy. 
Number 6. The Italian Navy, or Marina Militare, is known for its expertise in naval operations. It operates aircraft carriers, destroyers, frigates, and submarines. Italy's naval power stems from its strategic location in the Mediterranean and its commitment to international maritime security. Italy has a long naval history, dating back to ancient times. The Italian Navy's heritage includes famous naval battles, explorations, and contributions to maritime technology and navigation. The Italian Navy maintains strong ties with other navies through joint exercises, training, programs, and cooperative agreements. It actively participates in multinational naval operations and contributes to NATO and EU maritime security initiatives. The Italian Navy has a strong commitment to humanitarian assistance and disaster relief efforts. It has been involved in numerous operations to provide aid and support to countries affected by natural disasters, such as earthquakes and tsunamis. Number 5. Breaking into the top 5, we have the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force. As an island nation, Japan understands the importance of a strong navy for defense and regional stability. Their helicopter destroyers, such as the Izumo class, serve as multi-purpose platforms for various missions. With advanced anti-submarine warfare capabilities and a modern submarine fleet, the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force is a key player in the Asia-Pacific region. The prime mission of the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force is to ensure Japan's maritime security and protect its territorial water. It actively monitors and patrols Japan's exclusive economic zone and conducts maritime surveillance to safeguard against threats such as illegal fishing, smuggling, and territorial incursion. Number 4. Now at number 4, we have the Russian Navy. Russia's Navy has a long-standing tradition of excellence and is known for its technological progress. Their nuclear-powered submarines, including the fearsome Bori class, carry ballistic missiles capable of striking targets thousands of miles away. The Russian Navy also operates advanced surface ships, such as the Admiral Gorshkov class frigates, making them a force to be reckoned with in both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The Russian Navy operates a diverse fleet that includes submarines, surface combatants, auxiliary ships, and naval aviation assets. It encompasses several fleets, including the Northern Fleet, Baltic Fleet, Black Sea Fleet, Pacific Fleet, and the Caspian Flotilla. Russia currently operates one aircraft carrier, the Admiral Kuznetsov. It serves as a heavy aircraft carrying cruiser and it's capable of launching fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters. Russia has plans to develop and introduce new aircraft carriers in the future. Number 3. Climbing up to number 3, we find the People's Liberation Army Navy of China. As the world's most populous nation, China has made significant strides in building a modern and powerful navy. Their aircraft carrier, the Liaoning, showcases their growing capabilities. With a rapidly expanding fleet of destroyers, frigates, and submarines, many of which are equipped with advanced anti-ship missiles, the Chinese Navy has become a dominant force in the contested waters of the South China Sea. China has been increasing its maritime presence and influence in the South China Sea, East China Sea, and Indian Ocean through the establishment of military bases, artificial islands, and the deployment of naval assets. This expansion aims to protect its territorial claims, enhance regional security, and secure vital sea lines of communication. Number 2. And now, we approach the pinnacle of naval power. At number 2, we have the United States Navy. With a global reach and an unparalleled fleet, the U.S. Navy stands as a symbol of American military might. Their aircraft carriers, such as the Nimitz-class and the new Ford-class, are floating airbases capable of projecting force anywhere on the globe. Coupled with advanced destroyers, cruisers, and nuclear submarines, the United States Navy remains unrivaled in its ability to project power and maintain maritime dominance. Number 1. Finally, at the top spot, we have the most powerful navy in the world, the Royal Navy of the United Kingdom. 
Boasting a rich naval heritage, the Royal Navy continues to be a force to be reckoned with. Their aircraft carriers, Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales serve as symbols of their global reach. With a fleet of state-of-the-art destroyers, frigates, and nuclear submarines armed with cutting-edge technology, the Royal Navy maintains a formidable presence on the high seas. And there you have it, our countdown of the top 10 most powerful navies in the world. The naval forces possess advanced technology, strategic capabilities, and the ability to project power across the globe. From the United Kingdom to the United States and from China to Russia, each navy has its unique strengths and contributes to maintaining stability and security in the world's oceans. If you found this video intriguing and want to see more captivating content like this, don't forget to subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And as always, let us know in the comments which navy you consider the most powerful and why. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating world of military power.